Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Row. I'm here to do Lover's Lane installment number three. Okay guys, Lover's Lane is up first this month for my special series because I got the download first and I know nothing is coincidental. So, Lover's Lane number three, threes are about connection and communication with the angelic realm and boy did I get connection and communication with the angelic realm. So, um, first thing I heard was from the four corners of existence to the center, which is you in me. I'll say it again. From the four corners of existence to the center, which is you in me. Then I heard universe. And in my mind's eye, I was given a visual. And I tried to kind of draw it out, but I didn't do that swell of a job. So let me explain it. So universe at the center, multiverse branching from this universe. And then as they showed me that, I was shown the hermit and the hangman. But specifically from this um, psychic tarot oracle deck. So hermit is solitude. And hangman is sacrifice. So some sort of solitude that leads to an awakening about a sacrifice. Okay. And then I saw in my mind's eye the eight of wands. So quick movement, fast communication and or travel. Okay. So quickly coming to this place of solitude about a sacrifice. Then I was shown uh, like so much bird activity. So I had grackles, male and female, sparrows, starlings, morning doves, two as a pair. So that's about devotion. Then I had house finch. There were six of those. Sixes are about harmony or the journey too. House finches are about exuberance and joy and they were flying circles. So another indication of joy or celebration. Then I had robins. Two huge ravens. So when I look at all of that together, what I wrote down is that um, there's a lot of activity, some sort of protection in a partnership or of a partnership and um, moving pieces of the puzzle electromagnetically or energetically, meaning um, the spiritual realm on boots to the ground in this existence, moving pieces for you. And then I heard solving all problems from within, which matches that energy of energetically moving things. So solving all problems from within is the tagline for my empress. She solves all problems from within. She sits comfortably on her throne. She knows that she doesn't have to physically do anything because of her divine relationship with God. And then I heard, I have the power to do all that as a question. And my answer is yes, so saith God. And as I sat with that, then I saw four, three, two, one. But the way they showed me was four grackles flew past my window. And then right after that, three starlings. And then right after that, two morning doves. And then right after that, house finch, one. As in a countdown, four, three, two, one. But with the symbolism of these birds, it is about protecting a relationship. And this protection on the angelic realm leads to house finch energy exuberance, joy, celebration. So you hear the birds. So grackle and then a sparrow in the uh, in the distance. That's a sparrow with that that noise, like an alarm. As so as in a countdown. And then I heard do over existence. Now, this is something me and my team talk about all the time. So let me tell you what it what it's about. So those souls that embark simply to correct what went wrong in a prior incarnation are on do-over existences. 
But when you measure the whole versus those that are here for new experiences and those that are here to correct, very few are on do-over existences. Very few. So the majority of us are here for new experiences and new lessons. Because it's all about learning as many lessons as possible to deposit into your soul, your blueprint, your DNA for future access in subsequent incarnations. Knowledge is power. It is the only, one of the few things that we take with us. Yes, it's buried initially and you have to uncover it, but it's there for your uncovering in each incarnation. So you're never detached from your knowledge. It may be buried deep within, but never detached from it. Life is a school. So follow me. If the majority of us are here for new experiences and we keep getting snared in past life relationships because of the soul recognition, these relationships that we've ended poorly, how then will we ever create the new we embarked here for? Soulmates come a dime a dozen. Meeting someone new in this incarnation makes them a soulmate subsequently. And I'll say that again. Meeting a new soul in this incarnation makes them, in future carnations, incarnations, a soulmate. That's how cumulative and normal and not rare a soulmate is. It's cumulative. So it can be an energetic gateway to re-spark something or a graveyard all at the same time. And I'll say that again. It can be an energetic gateway or an energetic graveyard at the same time. Soulmate connections can be. So they can be restarted or deaded. You choose. But there is a need to choose wisely. What did you come here to do? Get back on the same old merry-go-round or try a different new ride? So that was my download, meaty, huh? So let's go ahead and get some cards for it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcomed here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do Lover's Lane installment number three for Fifth Element Row as a collective. Please give us a clear and concise message using me as the channel. You know how I read. Thank you. All right, so we're going to start with the Romance Oracle as soon as I find it. And it was coming, so I know we're supposed to go here. The ribbon was off. And there's a knot here in this ribbon, okay? So the ribbon is for sacral energy. So some sort of block in your sacral chakra. And I don't, I, I, I don't continue on until I relieve the block. So let's talk about the bird activity in the back. So... I heard the house finch. That's what you hear now. Heard sparrows. Sorry, guys. I've got to get this out for you. We want to be blockage free. It is a small, tightly wound knot. That is pretty stubborn to come out, but I'm diligent about my work, okay, and will not be defeated. So, our knot is out, free of blockages in the sacral chakra. So, let's see. Tell us about this download about soulmates. Morning of you here. What is it about? Soulmates in this incarnation. Tell the story, please. I'm not getting an overall read on the energy. I'm going right into the read. Thank you. Thank you. All right, two cards, both central to the issue. One 
known, one unknown. Let's start with the juicy stuff. So unknown, first card is, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Beautiful. So it's safe for you to love. This could be the one. So what you don't see, those are crackles you hear in the background. That screeching noise, when it's high pitched, it's um, starlings. When it's lower toned, it's crackles. So this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek, okay? What you don't see is that it's safe for you to love here, that you are to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, because this could be the one. Beautiful. Anything else? Lover's Lane number three. What is it that we need to know? Thank you. Challenge. Feminine energy. Unknown. Playfulness. So this is, I just heard sacral chakra. This is where the blockage was. Okay. Somebody that has, I feel like past hurts, impeding you from opening up to this new love. Even though you know that this could be the one, what you don't know and what you don't necessarily trust is that it's safe to love. But playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner, inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Lay back, relax, and have a little fun, okay, is the energy that I get. You're allowed. Anything else? Lover's Lane, installment three. Thank you. Four cards. I feel this is a totally separate energy. So let's see what it's about. From the bottom. Yep. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So on the periphery, there's unrequited love. Next card from the bottom. You deserve love. You are lovable. So this person who got dumped. This, this, I can't. I will not. I'm sorry, I don't play any games. I read energy and I read it well. It was an unrequited love situation, but you are to understand that you deserve love. You are lovable. Next card. So, divine timing is at work in your love life worth waiting for. I don't feel it as this person. I feel like your one, okay? is worth you waiting for, but you have to understand that you deserve love. Next card, unknown. Yep, come out of the deception about it. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So this is my interloper card in this deck. Unrequited love, but you do deserve love. Worth waiting for. This is where I don't want you to get tripped up because I feel energy strongly. And this is about your love for you is worth waiting for. Not this person. This person is already in their yumminess with someone else. Okay? I told you it was a separate energy. And this is the person who is on the outskirts who um, was sacrificed. Interesting. They just showed me um, the sacrifice card again. So I, I did get it in my download. So this was the sacrifice, but you have to understand that what you want, the love you want, the love God has created for you is worth waiting for, but you don't get it until you understand that you deserve love, your own love, okay? Not interloping in someone else's relationship. So, um, and I got a feeling that both parties were soulmates, but like I said earlier, that's any soul you've encountered on any incarnation. It's a cumulative thing. So just because your soul recognizes someone, we always attribute that to a romantic feeling, but it's just the recognition of the soul. So it could be that you were co-workers in another life. It could be that you were friends. It could even be that you were strangers and had a long conversation in a public place. There would be soul recognition there. So I want to get us away from this romanticizing of these connections. Because if you're here to do a new thing, it'll impede you. So let's get... Um, 
worth waiting for. We're going straight to Kipper. Yep. Getting to the root of it with red. The root chakra. So, worth waiting for. Tell this outside energy who's, re who's feeling unrequited love what is worth waiting for. Tell the story, please. To totally set. My team knows how I read. They brought up that bunch and then this bunch. And when I touched this bunch, I knew it was separate energy. Worth waiting for. Why is it here? So there's a message of concern about this unrequited love and you deserve love and deception, okay? Interloping energy, a message of concern. which would probably be this reading. It's the feeling that I get. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Because you have to see, if you are this outside energy, you have to see it clearly. There is no unexpected income here. You'll get nothing from this situation, is what this tells me. This worth waiting for is something totally separate. It's in reverse. So none, no unexpected income here. For you, the interloper, the outside energy where there was unrequited love. Tell the story, please. Make it clear. Thank you. So, a challenge for this playfulness. So, this person is dead set on waiting for something that there is no value in for them. Okay? This is what this tells me as a challenge. Yep challenge to get a high honor. So if it was something that was for you, would you be challenged with this card? Absolutely. No, no. God always wants to promote you. Okay. Especially when you're on track. So this gives me a feeling of being off path to your wish fulfillment. Last pass for worth waiting for. Guess why you're off path and can't get a high honor because there is no gift here for you, but you're unable to make a sound judgment and detach. Interesting. Okay. All because you're hung up on this soulmate crud. Soulmates come a dime a dozen. I just heard it again. And it is so true. You've caught yourself in an unrequited love situation. Okay. Your one is worth waiting for, but you got to love on you first. You got to understand that you deserve love at the bottom of this deck, not welcoming the new love. I tell no lies. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. New love is here or can be here if you allow it, but this is someone who does not want to detach. Does it? Two separate energies. Something old, something new. Old, new. Interloping in an old situation. Sacrifice, still not letting go. Having a hard time letting go. But not until you let go and you realize that you deserve your own love will you get what's waiting for you. You have to get out of this deceptive energy to get what's yours. So I'm going to leave this here so you can take a look at it while I draw a card of advice. Card of advice is coming from, I'm going to switch it up because I feel like we need to take a deep introspective look at the situation. So let's get some introspective questions coming from reawakening the soul, the strength core of the matter. One card, please, for fifth form to row, navigating the energy in this spread. One card, please, for navigating the energy in this spread. If we could get one card to cover both scenarios, please. One card, please, for fifth element to row, navigating the energy in this spread. And it's out on masculine energy. 
unknown is growth. Absolutely. Yes, growth is here. Grow, grow, grow. So let me read this card. Yay, yay, yay. Everyone, everybody in the situation has the ability to grow through this. By what? Taking your lessons that you gain from it and depositing, depositing them in your soul. Okay? So growth, looking forward in the book. Yes, yes, yes. Time to grow. Growth is beautiful. It's what we embark here for. So, expand your consciousness by utilizing everyday experience. Growth means change, and change involves risk, stepping from the known to the unknown. That's a quote by George Shin. Card message. Growth is the process of responding positively to every experience in your life. Every circumstance is an opportunity for you to grow into a healthier, more conscious being. Through the universal law of cause and effect, all happenings are in complete alignment with your soul's purpose. When you fully understand that you've created every situation happening to you, wisdom is born. Life's experiences are the gifts that bring you back to the awareness of your oneness. Be aware that of these precious gifts. Arrive at the understanding that each experience is ultimately for your own good and your life will begin to change. Perceived obstacles are opportunities that can be overcome by perseverance and wisdom. When you embrace every hardship and face adversity with the spirit of determination, you will inevitably grow. What you learn from each challenge shapes your character. Your trials, sorrows, and heartaches aid you in developing courage and strength. How you meet each trial determines your future happiness and success. This incarnation is your own personal spiritual journey. These experiences have been created specifically for you and by you. How you choose to perceive this life is solely up to you. You can either allow circumstances to defeat you or you can reign triumphant over your life. The purpose of your soul's evolution is to reunite you back into your beloved's arms. Your soul is the bright and shining perfection of spirit. Life is constantly changing and growth is the process of embracing these changes in a positive way. Starlings, that's that distress call. As Heraclitus said, the only thing that is constant is change. But remember, the only thing that is changeless is God. Introspection. Do I accept change? Am I willing to take 100% responsibility for my life? Do I allow myself to grow from my hardships and suffering? Can I embrace every situation in a positive way? The affirmation. I respond positively to all of life's experiences and allow myself to grow. Say it with me. I respond positively to all of life's experiences and allow myself to grow. Absolutely. I hope this message was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this reading. Angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Also, go follow on IG. I'm running a promo for new followers there. You must follow, either like the post or put a comment there. And the drawing is on the 6th for a 30-minute free reading. I was told to look at the bottom of the deck. So someone not wanting to see the truth, not walking in the truth, although the truth is here. It's based on it. All right, guys, until next month, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.